Cheap phones getting better and better phones getting cheaper. This is exactly what Metro PCS they're trying to do when they launch the LG Stylo 4. What's going on everyone? This is Vritistic and this is my full review for the LG Stylo 4. Don't tell me that this beautiful sexy design not paying your attention. That because LG, they're moving to the new ratio, 18 by 9, which is have less puzzles and more display. Now even the back has been changed from the previous versions we have seen from the LG style before. Now the back, now shiny plastic, and the battery sealed with the back so the battery is not removable but it's still though the back of the phone looks so good and we're gonna have the camera 13 megapixel flash and a fingerprint here in the back and the glossy finish is so beautiful but the fingerprint very annoying here and what else you can see you can see that i have to scratches my phone just by putting the phone on the table give the case for the phone the back is easily get scratches even the stylus pin not on the top before now it's on the bottom but let's have a look on the bottom oh we have the speaker we have the usb-c for the first time something we've been waiting for and we have the 3.5 jack for audio this is something very welcome over here if we move to the side of the phone with this sim tray which is has inside the memory card and the sim card the volume records the up and down and from the top you won't be able to see anything but just the metallic frame the feels of the phone it's so good the phone is not too heavy by the way it feels so uh, premium but the plastic back here on the back it makes the phone look cheap after the scratches that you guys see on the back of the phone just avoid doing this and get your case now from the right side it will be the power key and before the power key was with the uh, fingerprint now the fingerprint just the fingerprint and the power key located on the right just for powering up the device and power off the device and the fingerprint works so good it's so accurate and add good security to your phone now the fingerprint is not the only way to unlock your device you can also add pattern password in addition to this there is a face recognition the face recognition most of the time works good sometimes the phone doesn't unlock through it you can feel free to add your password or use the fingerprint this in my opinion more accurate and more secure to you one of the main selling point for the LG Stylo 4, of course, will be the display. We have the 18 by 9, 6.2 inches display. It's so beautiful and the display has the 1080p full high definition with the 390 for the PPI, which is makes everything look so amazing. Outdoor, indoor, no problems or from the side, no dropping colors. Maybe one Thing it will disappointing you if you watch the videos on YouTube since YouTube doesn't adopt all the ratios for the 18 by 9 you will see the screen doesn't fit the whole screen maybe LG they need to do some updates for the screen to make it fit the whole screen or maybe you need to wait till most of the videos on YouTube just become with this new ratio finally LG has listened to, to us and they changed the place for the speaker to be on the bottom of the device so the speaker will fire from the bottom which is a very great position it won't be interrupted if you sit the phone in the table but unfortunately the sound quality is still very low and it's not even high quality i can't even hear no pace nothing or whatsoever compared to other phones that are cheaper than the lg style 4 unfortunately this is what you get when you go low in the price they have to do it somewhere in order to reduce the price of the phone let me leave you with some of the music where you can hear it by yourself now speaking about the battery in the phone the battery is something we bargain about 
Some people would say, I would prefer the phone has removable battery where I can swap another one, get another one if they get bad or something. Some other people say it's gonna be sealed, the phone's gonna look nicer, etc. So who you are with that doesn't actually add anything here that because the battery it's not removable and you have to take it as what lg has designed the phone for the battery it's sealed with the back of the phone and the phone has a stickers warning that do not remove the back and the battery and this will cause you lose the warranty now in every phone when you purchase a brand new phone usually you get the best performance of the battery and this is what is happening over here and just to be fair with this phone the battery is a 3300 and it's this battery i can tell you one of the best phone i have ever used for the performance just going for the battery percentage and let's see the battery usage for my phone i have charged my phone 100 percent and I've been using the phone screen on time two hours and six minutes and the phone only with 92% of the battery. If the phone stay like this, this phone could give me seven to eight hours of screen in time and this in my opinion insane so the battery performance is so good and as everybody know i'm recording the video for my full review so i've used the highest resolution over here i'm playing games i'm doing a lot of things so i'm so pleased i'm so happy with the performance of the battery maybe the only disadvantage that you can't replace the battery anymore a great display and a great battery performance are not quietly enough for a cell phone. Now let's go ahead and move on the hardware and see what this phone has to offer. We have 1.8 GHz octa-core processor, Snapdragon 450, we have 2 GB of RAM and we have 32 GB internal storage. This in my opinion is quite enough for the storage. The processor does a great job, we will see this later in this video about the performance, but the only things I'm disappointed about it will be the amount of RAM. So 2 GB since the LG Stylo 1 continue to the LG Stylo 4. This is, I believe, something need to be upgraded for at least 3 GB of RAM. The Snapdragon 450 has been improved from the other previous Snapdragon they've been rocking on the LG Stylo before. The single core will be 718 and the multi core will be 3049. That's not way higher than the previous numbers we have seen on the phone, but this is absolutely very welcoming uh, improvements from before. No doubt one of the best way to, to measure the performance, it will be downloading some games. I have downloaded Need for Speed and I have put everything on high performance and high graphics and high resolution as well just to measure the performance. First of all, when I start playing the game, I haven't noticed problems. The frame rate always nice, no lags, no problems, and the graphics is smooth and I was so happy with the uh, performance in general one thing also need to be mentioned the phone did not even overheat on me the phone get warm a little bit but not something crazy need to be worried about now because i know a lot of people they are curious about sensor in the phone and let me tell you since beginning of the 2018 most likely even the budget phones i have tested and i reviewed i haven't noticed that uh, lacks of sensors now this phone has the gyroscope sensor one of the most important sensors so we have proximity sensor we have light sensor we have most important sensor we need to have in the smartphone now moving on the software if you see this audio uh, cookies over here means the phone rocking the android 8.1 with also lg ui so some improvements from lg on the operating system anything comes with the stock android it should be available for you and some more features the phone has google assistance of course the phone has uh, like a shrinking screen for one hand usage i have done dedicated video to explain all the tips and tricks about the LG Stylo 4 feel free to go to the description you will see the link for that video and that video will teach you a lot about the software experience on the LG Stylo 4 now I've never been impressed in the LG Stylo phone camera like the LG Stylo 4 for the specification we have 13 megapixel camera for the rear and we have a 5 megapixel wide angle for the front camera 
Now for the video for the rear, it should be able to take full high definition video, so no 4K available in the LG Style 04. That will be applied also on the front facing camera. For the aperture, LG, they never tell us about the aperture, uh, how much is going to be on the lens, but I believe it's going to be either 2.0 or 1.9 f aperture for both cameras. Now let's go ahead and move on on the... Uh, application for the camera and there is so much improvements this time for the LG Stylo. There we go, so we got launched the camera application. As uh, everybody knows, there's a lot of things you guys be familiar with, like this tab just to flip the camera from the front, and we have some modes, panorama modes, etc. We don't have a slow motion if you ask me. One of the new addition, it will be the Q lens. Now what does the Q lens do for you it will be the mainly three things visual shopping so it means you have to register to amazon for instance and you can put any object or anything any product and that should take you where you can buy it another thing it will be visual search and there's be scan code a scan code there's a lot of application everybody's familiar with so now you can do it through your camera application now let me put the camera on the Q lens visual search and I have a Fanta over here and we want to select visual search and let me see what the phone is going to give us as a result there we go so the phone took the picture and it's going to start automatically search on the coca-cola product this is very neat in my opinion so if you are searching about something you don't know this in my opinion also is not too accurate i mean i scan fanta and show me something else maybe something just related to what you take but this is a beginning for getting the camera to be more smart now let's go ahead and move the front facing camera which is a lot of good improvements there as well now first of all you will be able to see that you can take a wide angle and regular selfie just by tab you will be able to see much more in the screen you can take and you can just go back to a normal and that's uh, the, the front camera is set up for auto but you what you will have over here also the Q lens you can do the same thing which we have done on the rear camera plus we have the portrait pictures this time means we're gonna blurry all the background and put the focus in your face which is you're gonna end it up with very very nice uh, pictures let's go ahead and move on the result just that way I can show you some samples to the pictures I have taken here is some samples for the uh, rear camera here I've taken pictures out outside with the sunlight and it's gorgeous colors I mean it's very sharp it's very good pictures also I've taken some pictures inside with low light still works so good but I believe if it gets too dark you're not gonna have the good results so either use the uh, flash or have the right light and you will be able to take very very nice pictures now the LG Style 04, there is no doubt one of the best uh, budget phone I have ever reviewed for the price. Maybe some people, they're not going to call it like a budget phone, but for the price I spend on the phone, it's kind of a budget. It's not too expensive, it's not too crazy, but for the performance, for the camera, for the screen, for all the features, this is absolutely the best phone you can get for the price, period. If I want to give this phone a rate, I will give it to 8 out of 10 with no any problem whatsoever. Maybe I don't give it 10 out of 10 because uh, the, 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 the belt construction of the phone is not that high quality. It gets scratched from the first day I purchased the phone. Other than that, I don't have any problem whatsoever in this device. This phone, I already know it's a mid-range or two budget phones, not flagship. And that was very much it for uh, this video today. Thank you so much everyone for watching. If you find this review helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on variety stick hit the bell to be notified every time i post a video so that way you don't miss my futures videos thank you so much again for watching as always we'll talk to you in the next review now here is an example about the portrait pictures i have taken on the front facing cameras the whole focus it will be on the face and the background is going to be blurry it's very much like the book effect 
and here is another one if you move in over here you'll see everything's blurry and the focus on the person itself and you can end it up with great looking pictures I'm so glad that LG have done this to the uh, front facing camera and I believe most of uh, the flagship nowadays comes with this feature this is just inside with the portrait pictures inside just to see how uh, you know, if you don't have much light how that is going to affect the picture here's just a regular selfie and as you guys can see even the background not overexposed and still good looking it's very sharp i'm very happy with the result for the front facing camera there's another one and here's an example about regular selfie and that's the white selfie from the same distance see how much you can get with the background with you there is something really nice to see in a phone for this much price